points. Pride points habit is to courage is to be direct. Is habit is to be direct. Interesting. You guys gotta try better than that. Basically, with this setup now, every second they're in this line, they're taking 235 damage. Uh, 30 times a second. It's at this point in the game, there is not a lot of defense they can do against that. Although they do are getting up to 20,000 hit points, so they will weasel their way through. Or they would if I didn't have these fear points there. Poor Earth, though, you didn't get to do anything. Oh, wait, here, you get some of the shots off. Go, go, go. Good job! Come on, 42,000 hit points. Jerk. Go, Pride Point, go! Hope you like mines. So just got a bunch of them. Nope, 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 nope. These guys won't make it. They're the last three. Battle of Dukas Part 1, and you are not making it, sir. This, this one got 93 kills, this one got 173 kills. 18, 40, 1, 8, 14, 3, 7. Poor Ortho, he got zero. It's been three years, newcomer. You aren't a newcomer anymore, are you? You are ready to stand at the side of the Great Awe. Despite our efforts, some of the Bavka have... The remaining fleets have made it to the final phase jump. One attack, and Dukas will fall. But one successful defense here, and the Bavka nightmare is ended for a time. If we are victorious, Ghost of Path Space, we'll end the Bavka War. The new Ghost will return to your homeworld and receive a hero's welcome. But I will miss you, my equal. And I will miss you too, ah. <laughs> been a big help. The two of us can do anything. They come from here and here. And they go to there. So this is Oz's path and this is my path. Although it's good that if we can support one another. point you are going to get a lot of action this time. That is a significant upgrade in both range and fire speed. And uh, let's get some love in there.
biggest threat are these guys. See those blue pulsing guys right there? Squalid Plus. Upgraded Squalid. Lots of health. Regenerates very fast. They will be the bane of my existence later when I don't have 38,000 cachet to throw at the beginning of a level. Looks like Oz is done upgrading finally. Level 5 is the courage point over here. Alright, it's doing fine. Especially with a 35, 70% uh, bonus to his attack power. So these turning points are pretty lethal when you upgrade them enough. Look at that one. They move around of their own accord. They do kind of chase the bad guys, though. They're very short range, though, is the problem. Which is why they move. It's actually a really good spot for one, since it kind of bounces between the pathways. Man, this is a long battle, though. Three minutes. We're definitely going to need to upgrade some more. This is why these points are important. Oh, 100% bonus. Go, Pride Point, go! Geez, 53 kills. He's up to uh, 13,000 damage. I don't like whatever's making those blue explosions and stopping my strategic swing shots. Oh, my God. 
Space Defense Experiment, Subject K. We notice your efforts and we are grateful. Even though we can't hear you from you directly, we watched the battle. A thousand Bavka ships entered phase warp bound for our planet, and none came out. For your victory, we award you the Legion of Honor First Class, and we declare the third day of every month Path Defender Day. Unfortunately, we do not yet have the technology to return you to your physical body, which is being kept in stasis while your consciousness is in Path Space. Rest assured that all efforts are being made to return you to Nugus, your home. Communication has also come from your wife. Although the military cannot allow civilians to contact you directly, she gives you her regards. Thank you, Subject K. Stay tuned for further communications. In the meantime, please try out the Roberta Training Grounds. We'll contact you when we need you. Director S. Path Space Defense Experiment. And the Training Grounds are always the last level of a campaign. Is that you, Ghost of Path Space? I'm Jamesh. Oh, Roberta. One of your fellow Path Defenders. Pulwadaw talks highly of you. And no one can defy the effectiveness of your strategy at the Battle of Nukas. But do you have what it takes to be one of the great Path Defenders of all time? Let's find out. We, Roberta, have constructed a simulator that'll allow you to fight an endless supply of enemy drones. They'll keep attacking you no matter what happens, and they'll keep getting stronger. The amount of time you survive at my level will determine the amount of cachet you start with in the next campaign. All the rest of your cachet will be lost. After this, it will be a fresh start. So don't hold back. Spend it all. See how long you can make it before they break through your defense, why don't you? Then, we'll see how good of a path defender you really are. Death Lane. you start is directly related to how long you last here. So it is a good idea to set up your defense as good as possible. I should let the pride point score some kills. Not much right now. They haven't even made it to the circuit points yet. Well, so I didn't last very long on this my first time. I'm hoping I last a little longer this time. I'd set this up better, I think. Uh, 
35. Although I can't see what's going on. There's too many things dying. Three hundred and thirty eight. I would like to upgrade to three hundred and thirty eight damage a tick. Thirty times a tick. Now I need twelve thousand again, and then I need to find the other circuit point in here. <laughs> He's in that mess somewhere. Forty-five thousand. I can't see what's going on. Start sneaking through. The jerks. Look how freaking fast they're going at this point. Although I did live a decent amount of time, I don't think I'm fast enough to damage these guys anymore. Look, I'm doing 10,000 damage. What more do you want? Oh. 225 kills, 211 kills, 32 kills, 39, 29, 35, 9, 11, 18, 2, 29. That was the death zone, definitely. Well, guys, that was the end of the first campaign. Next time, whenever that is, I'm not sure, we'll start up campaign number two. Uh, if you guys like this anyway, I hope you do. This is a fun, neat little game. One of those random indie games I just kind of pull out of the ether once in a while for you guys to watch. <laughs> sort of like Creeper World. You weren't expecting this. So, hey, I did better than last time. I'm going to start with 160 instead of 146. Are you guys happy? I'm happy. <sighs> well, take care, y'all. I'll see you later.